name is Alan Williams. Welcome to the second Tableau video tutorial that I'm producing. First one was an introduction and uh, talked a little, quite a bit about connecting to data. In this video we'll be looking at data blending, which is a little bit different than what we covered in the first video. With Tableau we can bring in multiple data sources initially and then have cross database joins. That's what we did in the first video. That's different from data blending where you have two separate queries that run and you decide which dimension you want to blend the data on. So just as a refresher, if you watch my first video, you'll get a lot more detail, but let us let me show you how we can bring in data with a cross database join, just have one data set to work with. We'll go to the data source tab here and we're going to connect to an Excel file. And let me just see where this is. It's, oh yeah, it's under documents. My Tableau repository data sources. So we have this reseller sales spreadsheet. I'm going to open that. So it's loading the data from that spreadsheet. I'm going to pause until that's done. We've got the data from the reseller sales spreadsheet. Now I want to add another connection here. And this is going to be to a text file. And in this case, it's the product lines CSV file. And you can see it's brought in the second data source. It hasn't automatically joined them because it doesn't know which field to use. So I'm going to go down to the product line here and product line code. So these are the same data types and it's joined the sales spreadsheet, the product line CSV file to give us one set of data. So in this case, we're using a cross database join with multiple connections. This is different from data blending. If we go to the worksheet tab here, again, this is using cross database join. We have one set of data using multiple connections here. When we do data blending, we're going to have two sets of data two separate connections. So fairly big difference in terms of how Tableau handles this data. As a result of using the cross database join, we have one set of data to work with here. As mentioned at the very start, this video is about data blending. It's not about cross database joins. I did, however, want to cover it briefly. Uh, I think it's important to understand the difference between the two. I think a lot of people don't understand the difference between having cross database joins and one data set to work with versus several data sets that you that you blend the data with. If you want to find out more about the data that I used for my first video and talks a bit more about cross database joins, it's called Volume 1 Introduction and Connection to Data. Connecting to data. Now in terms of the data we're using for this example, again, it's from the AdventureWorks DW database, I, as I explained in my first video, sample database available from Microsoft. And I've run some queries and exported data into Excel. The first one we have is reseller sales clothing. The SQL statement is on the second tab. And the other one is reseller sales accessories. So similar sets of data, but I've modified the SQL so that we're not showing sales for all different countries for both data sets. So we can do some data blending with this. So we're back in Tableau, let's connect to our first data source. In this case, we're going to select Reseller Sales Accessories. Click on Open. It's going to load the data. But first, it's going to ask me to select which sheet I want to use. So in these two spreadsheets, the first sheet has the data, the second sheet has the SQL statement. So I got to drag the sheet over there. If there was just one sheet, Tableau would have brought it in automatically. So I have my accessories. This is what I want. I'm going to go to the worksheet now. And you can see we have dimensions and measures, English product category, product name, subcategory name sales territory country group and region so for measures order quantity sales and total product costs so now we have data from the accessories sales but let's say for the sake of this example we want to also show sales for the clothing line in this case we're gonna we had, didn't bring it in at the same time using cross database joins but we're going to add another data source and we're going to do some data blending Now we'll bring in the data set that's got the clothing data. So there's two ways I can do it. 
If I'm on the data source tab, I can just go data, new data source, but also if I'm on a worksheet, I can do the same thing, data, new data source, in this case, Excel, and I want reseller sales clothing, open, and I want to select the clothing sheet. Now I have reseller sales clothing. So this is two separate sources of data, two separate data sets. If I go back into sheet one, you can see them up here. So the clothing and the accessories sets of data. And each time I refresh the data, if it's a live connection, it's going to be running separate queries to these two data sources. Before I go any further, it's probably a good idea to save the work that I've done so far. In this case, um, I want to save this as an extract. I want to save this as a TWBX file um, so that I have the Tableau worksheets and um, visualizations and the data all saved into one file. In my first video, I talked about the differences between using a live and an extract connection. Go back into sheet one, it's going to prompt me for where to save a TDF, TDE file, so Tableau Data Extract. I will just save with the default name here, so I'll click on Save. So now I'm back in Sheet 1. Now I want to save, still saying Tableau Book 3, I want to save this as TWBX, and we're going to call this Data Blending. And click on Save. So I've got this data blending tableau file and I have all the data from these two data sources. Now I can go ahead and make changes and create some visualizations that show how data blending works. In order for data blending to work, you have to have one or more common dimensions between the two data sources. So in our case, we have the clothing data set first and we have English product category, product name, subcategory. We have the same fields for accessories, and we have some sales regions as well. Now let's go into data and edit relationships. So by default, Tableau is assuming that the fields, the common field names between the two data sources are going to be fields that you can join on for the purposes of data blending, and that, and that is true. However, we have a couple more that we want to add. So let's just cancel this for a minute. I want to show you what I mean. <clears throat> so in, in the accessories data source, data set, we have sales, territory, country, group, and region. And in clothing, we have them named slightly different, sales, country, and sales, region. So Tableau didn't pick up the relationship between these two because they have different names. So let's go back into data, edit relationship, and we're going to add a custom we're going to go sales country equals sales territory country. Add that one. Now we want to add another one. Sales region equals sales territory region. So this example, we have a lot of different dimensions we could blend data on. The ones that by default had the same name and Tableau automatically recognized and two additional fields that had different names in the two data sets and we manually created the relationship. In addition to creating the relationships the way I just showed you, there is another way. Let's go into data, edit relationships, and we'll remove this sales country and sales territory country relationship. And what I'm going to do in a minute, I'm going to say, okay, so I've removed that. So I've got sales country here, sales territory country. I'm going to rename this to sales country. So by right clicking on it and selecting rename, I'm just going to change it to sales country. Let's try that again. So now this is the same name as in the other data set. If I go into data, edit relationships, and automatic, we see that sales country now is in both of these for the automatic. So two different ways that you can create the definition of how these data sets are to be joined for data blending. So let's bring some data in finally. We're going to get sales amount into the column shelf and we'll bring the sales country into the rows. So we can see so we have Australia, Canada, United Kingdom, and United States. 
And you see a blue check mark beside clothing. That's because we brought this data set into the visualization first. So it is the default um, data set that's going to be used for the joins. We brought the sales and the sales country from the clothing. Now we can switch to the accessories data set. Switch between them just by clicking them here. You'll notice a bunch of links beside the dimensions. And we have a number of dimensions that we can join on. Because I brought sales country in from the clothing data set, but it's the default uh, dimension that we're going to blend on. Before we go any further, I want to change the names of my measures in these two data sets. They're both called sales amount. I want them to be to have separate names. I'm going to rename this um, clothing accessory sales. And I'm going to switch to the clothing and do the same thing here. Okay, so now it's pretty clear this is clothing sales here. Um, now let's go back to accessories and drag in the accessory sales up to the column shelf. So now we have some data for clothing and for accessories. So we see we have no information for Australia or United Kingdom for accessories. Let's have a look at the, the raw data from our spreadsheet and let me explain what's happening here. In the clothing spreadsheet, we do have rows for Australia, Canada, United Kingdom, and United States. I just created a little cross tab on this spreadsheet that had the raw data. That does correspond to what we're seeing in the first part of this um, worksheet here, the clothing sales. However, accessory sales, let's have a look and see what's in the raw data there. We're seeing Canada, France, Germany, and United States. So back in Tableau, we are seeing Canada and the United States, but we're not seeing France and Germany. And the reason is because in Tableau, we brought the first data set in, which was, just go here, clothing. It's doing an inner join to the matching rows and accessories. And because France and Germany don't exist in clothing, they're not showing when you blend the data. So to prove that that's the case, we're going to reverse this. I'm going to create another worksheet here, and I'm going to bring in accessories first. So I'm going to bring in country from accessories, accessories, sales. Now I'm going to go to clothing. I want to change it to this type of chart again. I'll go to clothing, and I'll bring in the clothing sales. So this is the exact opposite. We're seeing all of the four countries that we had in the accessory sales, again, let's just have a quick look at that. Canada, France, Germany, and United States. In clothing, however, the only countries that match the countries in accessories are Canada and United States. We're not seeing United Kingdom and Australia. So this makes sense. This is how the data blending works in Tableau. I should show here, I'm going to hide the show me uh, tab here so we can see this. So we're saying that uh, there is an indicator on the clothing sales uh, data here saying that the clothing sales access has at least two null values. So France and Germany in this case are null because there are no records for France and Germany in clothing sales. However, it's not telling us that there are two more records in clothing sales, Australia and Great Britain that aren't in accessories. And I think if we switch back to sheet one, we're going to see the same thing. So this is the, the other side of the story where we have clothing as a primary. So it's giving us the fact that there are two null values. So we've been blending so far just on the sales country. This is what we have here with accessories being the primary data source and clothing being the secondary. So let's say that we want to bring in the sales territory region into the shelf here, into the rows. What it's done 
is it's automatically and added a blend to sales region since we pulled that in. If I was to uncheck sales region, we'll see that on the right hand side for clothing sales, it's just showing the total sales for all regions. And we don't want that. Uh, we need to blend on both of these if we want to have the sales territory region show blended results. So I have to click on that link again. Kind of important that you do that. Now, another thing that you could easily get um, make a mistake on. So I have accessories uh, as the primary data set. Let me take say, sales territory region out. So I have sales country from accessories. Now if I go on clothing and bring in sales region, I don't want to do that because I'm bringing in dimensions from two different for primary and secondary data source, it's giving me nulls for sales region. It's just getting getting the wrong results. So be careful of where you're bringing your rows um, dimensions from. I'm going to take sales region out here and go back to accessories and bring it back in so we have more accurate results. With any business intelligence tool in Tableau, that's what this is, business intelligence software for data visualization and analytics. Understanding how the software works is one thing, but you really have to understand your data as well. You can be an expert in the data and have very little knowledge of Tableau and not be very proficient, or you can understand uh, the data very minimally, but you have a very low understanding of how the data relates, and you can be an expert in Tableau and you still won't be very uh, productive. So it's, it's a fine balance between understanding the data and understanding the tool. It takes a bit of time. To to get used to, to uh, Tableau, but it is something that you certainly can do. So let me just show one more thing. So we're blending now on country and territory uh, region. Let me make sure we go in there. Yeah, sales territory region. If I was to bring in, let's go back to the clothing. We can see that we have to have a possible link on product category. So I'll go back to accessories. I'll bring in the product category name to the rows. So this is interesting. Now we're seeing nothing on the clothing sales side. And that's because on the clothing sales side, the product category name isn't accessories, it's clothing. So nothing will show up. So when you're working with data blending, just be careful you're selecting the right dimensions and, and the right measures. And if you're getting results that you don't expect, chances are you're not selecting the right objects. And just the undo button is one of my favorite buttons with any type of software. It lets you go back to where you were before you made the mistake. That's all we're going to cover in this video. It was really meant to be an introduction to data blending. Talk about the difference between data blending where you have multiple data sets, multiple connections um, that aren't joined at the data source level as opposed to a cross database join which results in one data set with joins between various data sources. There's a difference and they're both pretty powerful features of Tableau. I will be producing another video showing some advanced data blending topics um, in the future, but hopefully this will get you started with data blending in Tableau. Thanks again for watching.